You're watching Color 10 News at 6. And welcome to Color 10 News at 6. I'm Heather Lewis. Our top story tonight it's how issues like medical marijuana end up on the Missouri ballot. But now, a few state lawmakers want to change how the public petitions for new measures to be voted on are actually put on the ballot. Our Colin Lingo talked with different lawmakers about what that could mean. Colin. Yeah, Heather, the Missouri State Legislature reconvenes in five days, meaning it's about time we take a look at some of the bigger issues lawmakers are pushing this year. So far, we've noticed one platform multiple Republican senators are already behind. Three separate lawmakers, all members of the Missouri Senate, have pre filed bills looking to change what it takes for citizens to put an issue on the ballot. I'm trying to make sure that they have to go across the entire state. State Senator Mike Sirpo is one of those three. Presently, you have to get eight percent of the signatures in six of the eight congressional districts. Where the other two issues would, in one way or another, increase the number of people it takes to get an issue on the ballot, Sirpo's bill, Senate Joint Resolution 7, would keep the number the same by lowering the percentage of required voter signatures, but then requiring signatures from all congressional districts. Right now, if you're in Kansas City or St. Louis, they can get to six of the eight congressional districts. This makes anybody gathering signatures for that kind of change has to go down to Southwest and also Southeast, and I think that's important. Because they don't like some of the results from the most recent voting. But even though the Senate bills differ in how they change state petitioning, political analyst Dr. Brian Calfano says the motivation is likely the same for each one. Uh, that's essentially it. People don't like the outcomes, especially if you're a Republican and you're not really excited about the minimum wage going up, or you don't like the idea that right to work got overturned. And while he says there is some argument to be made for trusting the work of the people you elect instead of simply petitioning issues and to be governed by their representatives, he says on the other hand, making it harder for citizens to directly participate can be a slippery slope. You know, in, in the case of Missouri, where you have such lopsided percentages of one party controlling the state house and the governor's office, the minority in this case, need to have an opportunity of some kind of mechanism that's available to them. So you heard him mention minimum wage and right to work issues there in our story. Both of those issues were placed on the ballot via petition. Other petition issues include animal treatment reform, medical marijuana legalization, and last year's Clean Missouri Act, which sought to eliminate anonymous donor influence in Jefferson City. Colin Lingo tonight for us. Thank you. We have